So we had forgot to uh, put these solar lights into our last video when we did this berm. As we forgot to put it in this past video, we forgot to film that. Um, they were here, they were ready, but they were sitting in our guest room and we forgot all about it. So uh, we were running behind on our video. So we have, um, I would have liked maybe a couple more and we definitely, don't look too close because we definitely just kind of threw some mulch there, but in the spring of next year, in 2024, we will be adding definitely much more mulch and this time we'll have it delivered and we'll put it on nice and thick but we just wanted to clean it up a little so don't look too close at the mulched areas but yeah we'll show it um, in the evening another time but we're so happy they work really well it's the same ones we ordered for our front walkway and we will definitely be ordering these more because we'd like some in our secret garden as well but it's a great buy it had a ten dollar coupon still it was a great bargain from Amazon.
Here's how the piece turned out at the end of the hallway and we love it. It looks so cottagey. Before it was just fading that blue and I it just it was I was not really thrilled with it. I was falling out of love with the blue. Um, I really liked it at first because it was different but it started to look more like a yellowed blue. I wasn't liking it. It was starting to look really old and dingy. So this was sanded and wiped down, refreshed with some nice new white paint. It almost has like a chalk paint like feel, which is great. And we accessorized it with some things we already had around the house and it really fits in this corner. We were concerned that it would cut into right here where the door is, but it really doesn't much. Just a little bit it sticks out, but I think it looks really great. I think it's going to work just great on the end. We've been wanting something for this end of the hallway for a while, and it works. And here's the finished coffee bar. So basically what we did was we just touched up um, the white paint by basically sanding it and using a little Danish oil to kind of bring it down a notch instead of being this bright, bright white and we roughed it up with the sander a little more. Don't mind the paint in the corner. Um, but also what we did was this top here, we used that uh, stripper, paint stripper, and then sanded it down after, and then rinsed it, wiped it down. And then we used the Danish oil and the white paint and I kind of back and forth just kind of like I did with the buffet. So it gave it that driftwood look. I didn't want it to be like the brown, yellowy brown wood. I really wanted it to almost become grayish and look like a driftwood look. And there it is. We really love how they came out. Hi, cottage friends. Hello, everybody. How are you today? We are, um, we had a quick day today. This was nice. Yeah. We did our video all in a few hours and... Teamwork. Yeah. Yeah, worked out well. Teamwork. As you can see, Yay. we have two different uh, pieces of furniture that we refreshed. Um, kind of quick and easy. Um, it was. Yeah. We, yeah. We did um, both tables. We did the coffee table. Coffee bar uh, Coffee bar table, yeah. yes. Um, and we want to keep it the way it was uh, set up. We just needed to clean it. When we took the dog, we keep the dog bowls underneath. Um, and it, it's still fine. It's, it's very sanitary because it's away from everything. Um, but we like it down there because it, it kind of gets it out of the way. We have a small kitchen. We have to work with the space we have. We have to think of storage solutions all the time. And we want it to be sanitary, of course, and that was the best place. And it keeps it raised up so it's easier for her to eat and drink. Yes. She's getting old, so yeah. it's, it makes it a little bit easier. It is. So and it's a good spot for them. They're out of the way. We don't trip on them. Yes. So thanks for watching. Um, please hit the subscribe button and join our little Brambleberry Cottage family. We'd love to have you with us. Yeah. Give us a little thumbs up. Give us a like. Appreciate it. We do appreciate it. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Cheers.